In this video, I'm gonna share with you five steps to help you to succeed at anything that you want from your life. Let's make a start. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name's Philip, and remember, if this is your first time here, please remember to like this video and subscribe to see weekly videos helping you to be the best version of yourself. So, you wanna be successful. You have a great idea, but you're not sure what to do next. Step number one is to start right now. And watching this video is a great first step. As well as watching videos, make sure you do one actionable step which will help you to get one step further on to your end point. And something that I find helpful is to do one extra thing a day on top of my daily routine. And that could be researching your blog article, writing one, doing a video, applying for a video, writing client notes, anything that helps you to be happy that you've been productive with your day. Which leads us on to step number two, which is to plan your next steps. I know that you know what sort of life you want to lead, but without any steps in order to get there, you won't know which way to turn, what to do next, and you'll end up just going round in a circle, feeling frustrated that you're no nearer to that end point and unable to feel motivated and driven to go and try and achieve it. And that's what I did when I started my YouTube channel. At first, I couldn't afford a camera. I couldn't afford any lighting equipment. I saved some money, bought my camera eventually, bought a really cheap microphone, and just got on with it. You just have to know what your next steps are so you can still be making videos or doing whatever it is you need to do, allowing you to know there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Which leads us nicely onto step number three, which is to keep on adapting and learning. You know where you're going, so remember to enjoy the ride. And don't see failures or getting something wrong as the end point. Instead, keep on learning, adapting and changing. And eventually you'll see those failures or those mistakes as a learning tool so that you can adapt and change so you'll find all the ways that don't work and it will make it more likely you'll find the ways that do. Step number four is to relate to stress and boredom in a different way. Work won't always go your way and even just doing the work might leave you feeling despondent and bored. In fact, boredom is tinged with stress as you know you have to do the boring task but you try and find any way to get rid of that horrible, stressful, boring feeling. However, if you can learn to use that feeling of stress and boredom in a productive way, it will help drive you forward to get the work done. And when it's actually done, when you wanna relax, you won't have that stress and anxiety building up here because you know you have the work to do. But instead, you'll be able to fully relax, enjoy yourself, and also be more creative and more driven. Something that I find really helps is when you feel stressed or bored, start working. I know it might sound silly to even think about doing that, but stick with it. Use those feelings in order to drive you forward, to be more productive, and eventually you'll feel proud and confident because you'll have autonomy and control over your life. Step number five is to keep on going and never give up. The only difference between people that win or lose is their ability to keep on going. Just like stress and boredom, there are so many things that will allow you to feel short-term validation. But in doing so, it will stop you from getting that long-term reward in the end. In fact, if you're struggling with something, it means that you're doing something right because it shows just how important it is and just how hard it is. So the chances of anyone else achieving it are slim or not. But you're an expert at doing what you're doing. Use that stress, anxiety and boredom to your advantage. Use it to motivate you rather than holding you back. What I thought would be helpful is to do an individual video for each one of the above points so that you know what it takes to be successful. So remember to subscribe to see those videos and plenty more videos to come. And also, remember, if you enjoyed this video, click that like button. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.